Hi boys and girls, today we are going to learn about Japan. And one thing I want to show you first about Japan is the map. This is the map of Japan. Let's take a look at it and see what we can notice. Well, I'm noticing a lot of water because I'm seeing a lot of blue around it. And I'm seeing that the Sea of Japan is here, the Pacific Ocean is over here. But I'm also seeing a lot of green in Japan itself. So I want to see what that means. So I'm going to look for a map legend or a map key. Can we find one? Here's one right up here. It's telling me that all of this green are mountains. So it tells me that all this is all mountains, which seems like Japan is a very mountainous country. Let's see what else we can find. Well, we find out that there's some other uh, names here, such as Nagano and Hiroshima and Osaka. These are all prefectures or regions of Japan. Now that we know a little bit about Japan, let's take a trip. But we got to make sure we have our passports with us in order for us to take this trip. We're going from our head school, from where you are right now, to Japan. This is about a 14-hour trip non-stop. Let's see how fast we can do it, though, thanks to Google Earth. And now here we go. We're on our trip. We're going, and here we are in Japan. That was a pretty quick 14 hours. But now that I'm in Japan, I want to see the capital. So now let's go to Tokyo. Japan's capital is Tokyo. So let's see what we can find there. And now that I'm now that we're almost there, let's see what we can find. I'm just waiting for this to come up. As I'm waiting, let's talk about the Tokyo, the Tokyo, the capital of Japan. What do we know? Do we know anything already about Tokyo before we get there? And now we're here. That was another quick trip. Let's go to the next slide. Let's see what else we, now that we're in Tokyo, I want to take a look around. I want to see what I could find. I want to see what the city looks like. So now that, now that we're here, I could see that this is all green. You can see all this green. This is all mountains. So we do know it's very mountainous. Let's see what else we can find. As we travel into the city of Tokyo, let's see what else we can find. Maybe we'll find some buildings, some office buildings, some houses. Wow, well, as I'm looking around here, I'm noticing tall buildings like I see in Manhattan. I'm noticing some houses. Let's see what else we can see as we turn around here. I'm seeing streets, maybe even a train. This looks like some train tracks over here. Um, these, it looks almost like as if we were in Manhattan. It's very crowded, though, as you can see. It looks like it's a very crowded area. Now that we're in Tokyo, we found out that some of the national symbols, let's see what we find. And I'm seeing the flag, which is a national symbol of, of Japan. Let's check it out. Let's see what we know about the flag. Well, we see a red, big red circle and a white background. Them, it's said that the big red circle is a crimson red circle, which means the sun. It represents the sun. And the white background represents purity and honesty. Let's see what other symbols we can find. Ah, the chrysanthemum. The chrysanthemum is, this is the imperial seal of Japan. It's also, some people say, it's the chrysanthemum is the flower of Japan because it's the symbol of the Japanese imperial family. So I'll say that the cherry blossom is because people in Japan like to celebrate the cherry blossoms in the spring. Yes, it's all who you speak to. Now we come up to Buddha. This is the next thing on our tour is Buddha. Buddha is, is a representative of the religion Buddhism. There's three types of religion in Japan. There's Buddhism, Shinto, and a little bit of Christianity. Buddhism is that life should not be too hard or too easy. They, that's what they represent. That's what they worship. That's how they worship. Shinto is that they work, worship the forces of nature and they emphasize cleanliness. Let's visit a Buddhist, let's visit a Buddhist temple. The Buddhist temple we're going to visit is called Senjoy, Senjoy Temple. I'm going to try to move around a little bit in here to get you a better look at the, the Senjoy Temple where the uh, Buddhist monks worship. Um, I'm going to see what I can do as far as how, how quickly and how easily I can move around in here to get you a closer look. So let's see what we're going to find out about the 
how, what the temple looks like and what the area looks like around it as we're zooming in on it. As I'm moving around here, I'm seeing that there's a lot of buildings. It seems really crowded here, though. And it seems like there's some office buildings here and some houses. As I'm getting in closer and I'm turning it around, I'm also seeing, let's see, yeah, there's some office buildings here. There's some houses I see over here. But this is a very traditional building, and it seems like there are some very modern buildings also are surrounding this building. So you've got some traditional building surrounded by some modern buildings. That's pretty, that's something different that you don't always see. This is Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji is the highest mountain in Japan, and it's also a volcano. They say it's an active volcano, although the volcano hasn't erupted since the 1700s. So let's see what we can find out when we look at it it's closer. We'll see what we find out about Mount Fuji. But we could see that this is the hole of the volcano here. We could see that and we see the shape of the volcano and also, and we could see that there's some greenery here also. And this is the Mount Fuji is in the Yamana, Yamanachi uh, Perfector of Japan. This is, uh, this is also Mount Fuji in the Yamanachi Perfector of Japan. What I want you to do now, boys and girls, is I want you to think about Japan and what we've learned so far. And I want you to do some research and find and find some pictures of uh, maybe the culture of Japan, maybe of how kids learn in Japan, maybe the food, uh, maybe some traditions. And I'll give you an example. Like this is an example of a traditional house in Japan. This is uh, where this is what it would look like. The next slide I'm going to show you is this is what a traditional bedroom looks like in Japan. They sleep on the floor on the futon. These are some examples that I'm saying that you could use to put on what I'm going to call is a bulletin board because at the end of this, this Google presentation, you're going to see some empty spaces and it's going to be a bulletin board. And we're going to make a bulletin board of Japan and what we've learned and what we've seen. So what I want you to do is do some research and find out maybe some traditions, culture, food, maybe dress and post it on here. You could do find pictures, you could draw a picture, you could even write something if you like instead. If you cannot put post it on my on this Google, then you could email it to me and I will post it on there and I will send it to you after what to show everybody what it looks like. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed our trip to Japan. I know I did. I'd like to thank Google Earth for their help to help us with our trip to Japan. Have a great day, boys and girls. These are all the citations that go along with my video. I would like to make sure I thank everybody for that for the pictures that I did, for the maps that I, I used. And also, these are the Common Core state standards that I use for my video. Thank you.